Recorded video is stored on disk storage installed in the server or attached to the network. The storage page is where you can configure how Exact Vision uses the available storage and monitor the health of your storage. To access the storage page, navigate to the configuration tree and then to an Exact Vision server. Expand the server and select the storage entry. On the Drive tab at the top of the screen is information about how many days of video is currently retained. The content age information shows the age in days of the oldest video on the server. This is how many days of video you will have on your disk. You can also define the desired oldest content age. This value won't change how Exact Vision uses storage, but it will generate an event if the oldest content does not achieve the desired age. See the video tutorial on email notifications for how to be notified when this event triggers. The bookmark storage information shows the total number of bookmarks defined on the server and how much disk space they are consuming. The age of the oldest video bookmarked is also shown. Note that the oldest content age does not include bookmarks in its calculation. The Drive Configuration section lists all of the drives Exact Vision has detected. Health and capacity information is available for all drives. By enabling or disabling drives, you can define which drive to use for video storage. The drive the operating system is installed on is not recommended for video storage and is disabled by default. For each drive, you can also configure the maximum amount of space to use for video storage. Once the drive exceeds this percentage of data, the oldest video on the drive will be deleted as new video is recorded. The Expiration Configuration section lists all cameras on the server and allows you to set granular retention rules for specific cameras. Retention rules can be configured to keep video for a camera for at least a certain number of days or at most a certain number of days. Atmos rules are useful when laws or regulations require surveillance video to be deleted after a certain period of time. To create a rule, select the camera on the left and press the Add button. Then configure it by changing the type and day values as needed. Finally, click Apply. It's important to understand the impacts of setting per camera retention rules. Because the system has to individually track retention of specific cameras, there is a small reduction in the overall disk throughput when using per camera rules. Also, extending the retention of a subnet of cameras will naturally decrease the retention of other cameras. In extreme cases, recording of all cameras could suspend in order to adhere to a rule that keeps at least a certain number of days. Extended storage acts just like disk storage installed directly inside the Exact Vision server, except extended storage is accessed over the network. Configuring iSCSI network storage is normally a complex task performed by a specialized storage administrator. But with the Exact Vision S series storage server, it's easy to set up extended storage. First, Navigate to the S-Series server in the list of servers and click on the storage icon. The storage page of an S-Series server has fewer options than a normal Exact Vision server. On the Network tab, a list of all drives on the server is present. Select the type as Extended Storage for one or more of the drives on the server and then click Apply. Now, navigate to the Exact Vision server where you will be using the network storage. On the Extended Storage tab of the Storage page, enter the IP address of the S-Series server on your network. Once the server connects, you will see the Targets list populate. You will see one entry for each drive. Ensure each drive you want to use is enabled and click Apply. Navigate back to the Drive tab and you will see that the additional drives are now available for video storage. As an administrator, you may see other tabs in the storage page. For servers purchased from Exact, you will see the Hardware tab that shows detailed information about the hard drives attached to the system. To see this information, click on a specific port in the Hardware list. You can add threshold events that can be used to notify you of failing hardware. To create a new threshold, click New and then modify the device, attribute, and threshold values to trigger on. For servers with RAID storage arrays, you will see the Volume tab showing the RAID volumes. 
Video retention is one of the most important aspects of managing a VMS. Exact Vision provides the tools to tailor storage consumption to reach your retention goals. And when it comes time to expand the system, the S-Series server can easily be added to extend storage capacity.